Hello everyone, in today's video we will set up a loot chest. This chest will function just like the chest in Skyrim. So you can open it, loot whatever is inside, but you can also use it to store unnecessary items and maybe pick them up later. We are going to do this one start to finish, including creating the animations for those who haven't done this before and only have some models. In order to create this we will need Unity and the Inventory module. Before we dive in though, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters you're absolutely amazing, and I definitely did not expect this type of support already. So let's dive in. So for this tutorial, I will be reusing my last scene. Not because you need anything here, you can have a completely different scene or have it from scratch. I just want to have it all in the same merchant inventory type uh, scene. So I'll be using this. But again, you can use a fresh scene. There's nothing you really need here. So I'm going to really do this all start to finish. So even making my simple chest. So yeah, bear with me. I don't have any fancy models at the moment. I still need to look at that. So I'm just going to keep this one really simple. That seems about right. Perfect. There we go. Let's change this to 0 0.1. Perfect. Now I have a wood material that doesn't really fit with this, but just going to use this one for now. There we go. I'm going to stick that on these as well. There you have it. Really simple chest. Doesn't look like much, but at least it's something. Cool. Now I've divided these into two. Uh, different parts so basically you have the lid and the chest itself now obviously if you have a nice little model um, you know I would recommend using that instead of what I'm doing right here but this works for now so we're going to animate these now if you have a nice model but you don't have any animations yet um, you know please follow along those steps as well there might be a better way to do this I just frankly do it like this so we're going to go here create let me actually make this a child and rename all of these so chest and we have the lid not sure if it's with a T or D but let's do it like this there we go so create and then we need animation there we go chest open as you can see I already have the previous one so I'm gonna use some new names here I'm going to open this up select our lid create chest open or well, it seems like I already have those let me remove all of those There we go, just open. So I'm going to add two properties. So I'm going to um, change the position and I think rotation as well. I'm not really sure, but anyway. So that's fine. This is the default state. So we set those points and Let's record first and then here in 10 seconds we are going to rotate it. There we go. Nice and open. 
Perfect. So if we play this, it opens our chest. Perfect. We don't need these. And there we go. That's really fast, but yeah. Supposed to open the chest real fast. We're not going to loop these, so as long as this works, we're good. Let's do it in 20, just a bit longer. Perfect. That looks better. Now we're going to create a new clip. We'll call this chest closed. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab these last frames from the previous one and we're going to put those in the start. So I'm going to record. Now we can remove these. And I think we did 0.20. And there we go. So I copied over those last frames and now it closes. So it starts in the open position and then closes back really simple and nice cool now this one will have a there we go as an animator controller so what we're going to do here is we're going to turn these around we're going to make this the default layer state so this is closed. There we go. So it's going to go from closed to open, from open to closed. Going to add to one parameter here called open. This will be a bool. I did that correct, right? Yeah, bool. There we go. And here in our transition, this will happen if the bool goes to open is true no exit time and here we are going to do the opposite if open is false and that's it really simple animation so let's add that oh it's already added there we go we have our animator and we're all set perfect so that will be our chest, that will be our really basic animations. So that's really nice. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we can actually use any of this. So we'll head back to our chest here and we're going to add a trigger. So I'm going to add two triggers in total. So we're going to start with a, um, let's do a box collider. And I want this to be slightly bigger. And we're going to move this to the front of the chest. There we go. Two triggers. Let's add our action first. There we go. I'm going to add another trigger here on player exit and we're doing the same just keeping it simple like this just to have everything together now in order to, for us to use these we'll have the open chest action and once we enter this area so on player enter we want this to activate so set active open chest let's copy this and we'll add that here again and it will deactivate it now on deactivation so i will add this already and explain in a bit why we are going to make sure our lid is set to false 
there we go so once we exit the area we will have the animation close the lid again oh there we go sorry about that we will have the animation close the lid again and reason i'm doing that is because we will open it once we press a button inside of here so we can use a mouse for this we can use a button for this it's it's completely up to you want um, I will show both of the options here and you can then decide for yourself what you actually want to do so once we add our trigger so this is the default, which you will, uh, which you will see a lot. Let me add the sphere collider in order for you to use this. Um, let's do it like this. There we go. Not perfect, but you know you get how it works. So this will be the mouse trigger. Now, the problem is, is because I have a free camera, my every time I would want to open this chest, it will, it will mess up the camera, basically, if we use the mouse click. It's just annoying. So I'm going to change this for myself to a uh, key up or key down. Let's do that. I'm going to use a really weird one, but I'm sure I haven't mapped this to anything. And my chest will open once I press keep at eight. So if you want to use the mouse click, please go ahead, do that. Otherwise, um, use a button. It's completely up to you, what you, whatever you prefer. So we're going to add our actions here as well. So I want this to look pretty nice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add, where are you? There we go. I'm going to add a marker here and our player will basically go to the marker so he will really stand in front of the chest once opening up. There we go. That's a decent distance. Perfect. So we're going to have him move towards the marker. So player, marker, there we go. And wait until he arrives. Then we're going to animate our chest. So we're going to drag this one in here. Uh, the lid, apologies. It will be open. Our bool is set to true. So it will open up our chest. Then we are going to add a animation here. So you can choose whatever animation you want. I have one um, from Umotion Pro. Where, um, sorry basic motion pro everything has pro these days um, there we go open I'm going to drag that one in perfect so this is the basic loot type of animation it's not perfect but it does what it's supposed to do. So we will have him change to an animation and you can use whatever animation you want. Game Creator has a lot of them already incorporated, but it's completely up to you. So I'm just going to use this for now. Then I want to make sure there's time for all of this to happen. So we'll add a weight. Let's do 0 0.8, not a full second. And we are going to go to inventory, 
container and we are going to open up the container UI. Now, this is not enough. Um, this only opens up the container UI. We still need to set the container UI somewhere. We can do that here, which is really nice. So we can add it here. We can add what needs to be inside of it. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just add a sword. One of them and here we have the container UI. So you can drag in a new one. So let me open this up, find this up. There we go. So this is the default one. If you don't have any set, it will use the default UI. Now we are going to make one change here. So, so what we're going to do here is on close, we need something else to happen so right now on click it closes the UI which is good I'm going to add a new action here where are you actions there we go so while using this actions execute we can actually use game creator actions on click which is really nice so what we're going to do is we're going to reset our player state really simple so once we close it our player resets his state let's save and we'll go back so right now it will do all of these things which is great we didn't create a new UI we just updated the existing one but obviously I'd recommend creating a new one that fits the look of your game now we need to make sure these actions are in Let's make sure all of our colliders are actually triggers as well. There you go. That's better. And right now, perfect. We're all set here. Good. Just wanted to double check everything. Now, let me make sure those animations aren't looping as I noticed that last time. All right, there we go, same thing here. So we need to make sure they don't loop, otherwise they will infinitely loop here. There we go. Now we need to make sure this is disabled because we enable it once we enter so let's see what this looks like for now there we go we enter and it closes again real nice And we can put it back now obviously there's no indication that we are we have to open this chest so we wouldn't be able to know so one thing we can do here is create a canvas let's make sure this is activated again so let's rename this there we have our UI now this isn't absolutely perfectly positioned so let's change that and obviously you can get a lot more creative with the way this looks but we're going to keep it simple I'm going to add an image here That's about right. Let's add some text. Press, well, whatever it is you're using. Oh. There we 
There we go. I'm going to scale this down a bit and then make the text bigger simply because the text looks sharper then. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do it, but it works. There we go. Press A to open. And we have our text. Now, because this is part of the open chest, it will only be visible once we're actually in the area. So, pretty sure we have everything right now. So let's give this a go. Disable this one, save, and press play. There we go. So the text disappears and the chest closes and the other way around. Now the nice thing about this is that you can, you know, this is a chest you could reuse having your house for example or you know whatever player area you've created and it's something you can always use to store items. Now the important thing here is that you see this save container which has its own ID. So it's part of the save system Game Creator uses. So it will actually save what you're storing here, which is really cool. So there you have it, really simple. Creating a chest start to finish using the inventory system for a nice container. Hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.